Could you please tell me what is the Gothenburg Mafia? It is not really used in the sense of, the, of mafia per se, but in a positive way that we are becoming more and more and we are becoming uh, connected and uh, they see us everywhere. The, it's, it's due to the impact we are making. It's due to the impact we are making, yes. So after you have graduated from Gothenburg University as PhDs, with your PhDs you have sort of get, get, gotten good positions in the research and policy making area. Yes, uh, I, I'm, I'm happy to say that, uh, well, I graduated in uh, 2006 uh, and I had colleagues who graduated, a couple of colleagues who graduated before me and uh, uh, some who graduated after me with, that I know. And uh, I'm happy to say that most of them are really at responsible places, positions within the continent and they are doing very marvelous things. Uh, for example, I have one colleague who is... Uh, the head of uh, the economics department at University of Cape Town, which is uh, the top university in Africa. Uh, I have others who are um, heads of departments of uh, other universities as well on the continent, and some who are teaching graduate students, advising graduate students and master's students, and building capacity all over the place. So I would say yes, we have colleagues who are uh, occupying very uh, responsible positions and making big impact on the continent. So this is a special kind of Swedish development aid. Is it? Do you think it's a working, working aid? Well, if there is any aid that I know of that has worked, is this type of aid, because before I came to Gothenburg, I was a lecturer at the University of Cape Coast in Ghana, uh, but I did not have the skills to be able to do research. I knew that there were some problems but I didn't have the skills to be able to investigate them and come out with research findings that can help policymakers. But when I came to Gothenburg, when I was lucky and I was selected to come to Gothenburg, and thanks to CEDA who generously uh, sponsored my studies, and uh, I, don't, I can't thank them enough. So when I came to Gothenburg, I, uh, I learned a lot. In fact, the program was one of the best programs that I, 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 could, I could get. And I learned a lot. We had coursework, so we were able to study methodologies. And then we were also given opportunities to work on issues affecting developing countries. So I, work, I did some of my research on fisheries management, some on gold mining in tropical rainforest. And I got excited and started doing many, many things. In fact, when I started working on fisheries management in Ghana, economics of fisheries uh, management in Ghana, uh, nobody was working on those issues, but today I've been able to do quite a number of papers and I get people calling me and telling me they find my papers interesting, they have policy implications and they uh, could use them for policy making.